hi guys welcome to this video lesson in this video we are looking at how to calculate the area of a rectangle when the diagonal is given okay first thing we need to ask ourselves is what is the diagonal of a rectangle a diagonal of a rectangle is a line drawn from one corner of the rectangle to the opposite corner of the rectangle a rectangle basically has two diagonals from this angle to this angle and from this angle to this angle okay to solve the area of a rectangle when the diagonal on one side, either the width or breadth or the length is given, you have to employ Pythagoras theorem. Why is this necessary? If you look at this shape here, this is a right angle triangle. This angle here is 90 degrees. So this shape, let's say if this point is A, B, C and D. We can see a triangle A, B, D, this triangle here. Okay, so remember from Pythagoras theorem, if you know two sides of a right angle triangle, you can find the missing side. So if you have a question where you are giving the length and you are giving the diagonal, but you are not giving the width, you can use Pythagoras theorem to calculate the width because the only way to solve for the area of a rectangle is a is equal to length times width or length times breadth so if you look at this formula comparing it to this you discover that length is common but this part of this formula is used to get the width this is pythagoras theorem remember pythagoras theorem is c square is equal to a square plus b square right so this width has been represented by this because the width is missing in this particular question, okay? So let's look at how to solve this example. We are told to calculate the area of a rectangle with length four centimeter and diagonal five centimeter. So in this particular question, we are giving the length, we are giving the diagonal, but we are not giving the width of this rectangle. So we can only apply this formula. We cannot apply this formula, okay? So let's solve solution area is equal to length square root of d square minus l square so we know that our d is equal to five centimeter our l is equal to four centimeter so we have a is equal to four multiplied by square root of five square minus four square okay so we have a is equal to four times square root of five square is 25 and four square is 16. so we have a is equal to four times square root of 25 minus 16 is nine so going further we have a is equal to four times three square root of 9 is 3. So at the end of the day, the area of this rectangle is equal to 12 centimeter square. So now we can see that the whole reason we did this is to find out the width. The width of the rectangle has been gotten to be 3 and that is why we are doing 4 times 3 because basically area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. So this width is what we have here. So because we were not given the width, that's why we had to go through all this process in order to arrive at the width. So in case you are given any question in an exam where you are given the length of the rectangle, you are given the diagonal of the rectangle, or you are not given the breadth, all you need to do is apply this formula. This formula is also valid if you are given the diagonal and you are given the width. The only difference is the formula is going to change to A is equal to w square root of d square minus w square this is in the case where you are giving the diagonal you are giving the width but you are not giving the length so that will just be the little change i'd like you to solve this question if you understood what we have done today class work calculate the area of a rectangle with 
diagonal 10 centimeter and width 6 centimeter. So unlike the first question, in this particular one, we are giving the diagonal and we are giving the width and we are expected to find the area. This means instead of you to use this, we are going to be using this way of writing the equation. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more mass content. See you in the next video. Bye.